Hey golfers, Tony with Humo Golf. Uh, Want to talk about how the upper body needs to work in the golf swing. Okay, golfers, let's take a look. And this is using the stack system. Just kind of did some swing training today. I wanted to throw it on Sportsbox AI to see how I was moving. So really happy with the amount of rotation I'm getting upper body wise, almost 90 degrees. We'll keep working on that. Keep working on that mobility. But as I'm working down, again, these are max intense. So sometimes that swing speed, that timing's a little bit off on the way down. But if you take a look, that's not really a horrible position on the way down. You know, shoulders are, are, are pre-impact. They're actually a little bit closed. I'd probably like to see uh, my shoulders get a touch open. Pelvis is a touch better than it was the other day. We can keep working on that, but this is really the difference between what I see in good ball strikers versus um, individuals that have a tendency to hit behind it. And really what ends up happening is your, your trail side runs out of room. In a sense, this trail side shoulder stops working, this upper torso stops working, and we need it to work in order to continue that momentum and inertia through impact because that ball stops us and we need that body motion through impact in order to continue delivering and controlling the club uh, through those impulse uh, conditions. So let's take a look at what happens here and we'll take a look at what uh, some of the models show. But right here, unfortunately, things really don't look horrible. But from this point, we can see how far that club's moving, how the hands are working over, but this upper body is not moving very well at all. And this is something I'd like to see everyone improve. And what ends up happening, whether it's the head that becomes an anchor, which I can see myself looking forward, so I know I'm trying to get out of that. It just could be old tendencies. Maybe I'm concerned about the back, but I have to let this whole right side, both the pelvis and this right trail side, really get through the ball in order to open up and we're going to see a major difference not in the ability of rotation my mobility is fine degree wise but it's at the wrong time and this really is going to negatively impact my ball striking okay golfers let's take a look at the model numbers and see what we have here so looking at the top this is a driver with a sports box ai model he said a little short of 90, so pretty good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, we'll continue to working on that. But really, here's the thing that's kind of disheartening is, you know, when I get down to, you know, almost shaft parallel of the ground, you know, if we look at the amount of pelvis turn, amount of chest turn, things are looking good. X factor is, you know, is there. So that's not the issue. But the question is what happens here? And this is really going to dramatically impact so part of this could be secondary tilt. I may have a little, which I see as being a little bit too much secondary tilt uh, versus kind of what you can kind of see right here with the golfer or with the model. So that's something I, I need to work on. But really, I got to do a better job of posting up. But I just want to focus in on the upper body. And from here, just watching the difference in the numbers. They go from chest turn to negative two. I get to 20 here and already the models to 30 and the pelvis motion. So this is the most critical part for the body to move through impact. We need the mass of the body. We need that stability. Those are the hinges like on a door that allow it to open and close properly. So this is the role of the body through impact. And we can see right here as good of a uh, job my arms are doing on the way down. If I don't use my body to carry this through, I'm not going to be consistent. And you can just see here, unfortunately, my numbers just go way down as I go through there. And, and I'm now just falling down. So because my shoulder joints stop, my upper body stops, I cannot get that good motion through the ball. I'm going to lose compression. I'm going to lose shuffling. Um, and I'm not going to hit the ball nearly as far as I should based on some of the positions that I create. So this is really critical that you get your upper body working through the ball. And I'll show you some drills on how to do that. Okay, golfers, if you don't have a handy gym like this, you can always use a band to pull that through. Brace it with the lead leg and keep pulling it through with that 
trail arm, and upper body rotation. This next drill is the hockey stick drill. Just feeling compression and getting the chest to open up as you're pushing down with your trail arm. This next drill is something I did a while back, but you get the idea of just swinging that tennis racket through. I got some weighted chains right here to give me some resistance. Hey golfers, thanks for watching. I uh, got some exciting news coming up here uh, with Humo Golf. Uh, next month we'll be building out the lab and we'll be sharing with you some of our research and our new products coming out in 2023. So use these upper body drills to kind of help give you a feel. And that's what it's all about, developing the right feel to improve your performance. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.